Hello, it's Scott Manley here, and after Saturday's video about Elon Musk's plan to send his own roadster into space, well, there was a few comments that caught my attention, namely people asking, what would a Falcon 9 do in a quarter-mile drag race? Is this merely some plan by Elon Musk to assault the land speed records? Well, I don't have a crystal ball or any insight into the inner thinkings of Elon Musk and his uh, nerd brain, but I do have the power of mathematics, and I wanted to go and take a look at the common rockets and just how fast they would do the quarter-mile drag race. Now, you're probably imagining something like this, a simulation within Kerbal Space Program, but truth is, I'm too lazy to actually build all the rockets, so what I instead did was use mathematics. I went to the various Wikipedia pages, looked at the rockets, looked at their thrust at sea level, and from that you can compute just how fast they can cover the quarter mile. Yes, the symbol is multiplying the distance by two, dividing it by the acceleration, and then taking the square root. So say, for example, we took the space shuttle, put it on wheels and then stuck it on a quarter mile drag strip. Yes, it would probably have some trouble actually fitting on the road, but it would be 2,000 tons, and it would have about 30.25 meganewtons of thrust, giving it an acceleration of about 14.9 meters per second per second. Then plugging those numbers into the distance equation gives us a time to do the quarter mile of 7.35 seconds. Which does sound pretty fast. I mean, my Volt won't even get to 60 miles an hour in that amount of time. But it's actually pretty slow compared to custom-designed dragsters. The fastest uh, rocket-powered vehicle to ever attempt the quarter mile, apparently, uh, managed it in 4.22 seconds, hitting a top speed of 344 miles per hour. Of course, the difference is this rocket car only had to travel a quarter mile. A space shuttle may be a little slower on that first quarter mile, but guess what? It just keeps accelerating all the way into space. But according to the numbers that I've pulled from the internet, most rockets actually only start with a, an acceleration of about 12 meters per second at launch. The Saturn V, the Atlas V, the Falcon 9, they all start around this, and that uh, gives them a quarter mile time of about 8 seconds. Of course, with the Atlas V, you can strap on 5 extra boosters, and assuming you don't increase the payload too much, that gives you about uh, 2G acceleration, and lets you do that quarter mile in just over 6 seconds. So really, it should surprise no one that the world of dedicated dragsters is in fact better at covering a quarter mile than, say, a rocket which is designed to cover a million miles eventually. And truth be told, you can't just take these numbers, because guess what? Most rockets wouldn't work if you put them on their side. They're designed for gravity to be pulling the fuel down into the fuel pipes. You put them on the side, they're not necessarily going to be able to feed the propellant into the engines. Moreover, many of these rockets will literally break if you try to fill them when they're laying on their side. There's essentially huge mass savings by having your loads only go in one direction and leaving out the support needed to handle those big lateral forces. And then, of course, if you consider that they're going upwards, they're then working against gravity, so they're quarter mile times. The first quarter mile off the pad, yeah, 20 seconds or so based on these numbers. However... There are rockets which are entirely solid fueled on their first stage. Those things probably wouldn't have a problem if they were laid on their side. After all, they're designed to be carried that way, fully fueled, right? And they don't have the fuel flow issues. So if you take a look at the Minotaur, it is only 73 tons. Uh, but off the pad, it gets a thrust of 16 or well, 1.6 meganewtons. That's enough to give it a 2 to 1 thrust uh, to mass ratio and a theoretical quarter mile time of six seconds. If you remember, one of those launched out of Vandenberg recently carrying a few uh, Earth observation satellites. But that still leaves it far behind those dedicated dragsters over the quarter mile. However, rocket science has brought us something that could completely smoke these things. It could literally blow them out of the water or the sky because it is a missile which was designed to blow things out of the sky. The Sprint 
anti-ballistic missile system was designed to basically shoot down incoming nuclear warheads. With a mass of about three and a half tons and three mega newtons of thrust, it almost managed a hundred G acceleration off the start line. So it would be able to cover the quarter mile distance in just under one second. At the end of that quarter mile, it would already be doing more than twice the speed of sound and still accelerating for a few seconds more. In the end, it would be doing 10 times the speed of sound and it would be glowing white hot because it's doing that in the lower atmosphere. So yeah, for all the jokes of making the Tesla faster by sticking it on a Falcon rocket, turns out that over that first quarter mile, a uh, stock Tesla Roadster might actually be faster. As long as it's not up against the sprint. I'm Scott Manley, fly safe.